remember, I study animals. <laughs> Before she leaves, boy. Thank you. Yeah, she's gonna be coming later today. Later today? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> How big is a dragonfly? What's the difference? Well, you really got to look at them really carefully, but you always have to catch them first. And just to watch them, you don't know. A good clue, though, is some of these, if they're really starting to get fat, pretty good idea that they might be ready to have babies. And the man, so that's a, pe and the that's a real possibility. That one's really fat. Out. Well, that's what we're thinking. She may. Well, guys, I think we better go uh, work with our elf. So let's all go up to the top deck. We're going to see if we can't get the go. Oh, hey, kids, wait. I forgot something. Sorry. Don't bang, clap, or do anything three times until we're all ready to go because one thing that doesn't work is if you bang three times, they come over and you don't give them food, what's going to happen after a while? They're not going to die. Yeah, they're not going to come back anymore. So don't be banging unless we have food to give. Okay? So let's uh, let's go on up there. Watch. Keep walking, guys. Breakfast? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm in summer school. There's usually a breakfast time. So one thing today. Oh, I tell you, I'd complain. Okay, Evelyn, everybody, watch out. We got a cart coming. The cart has the food. Oh, come on. How many carrots? Um, I think there's three pieces in the room. We spilled a bunch, so I'm not sure. Can you do it without all knocking each other over? Yeah. Can you be... Calm animal. Well trained. Take three pieces. Don't throw any in yet though. Geez, they almost did roll me over. Hey you, are you doing okay? Okay, is everybody ready? I'm gonna do it three times and let's see if they'll come over before you throw any. Here we go. And they're still looking at it. And, and then everybody throw in a carrot. I want them looking at it. As soon as they look at it, I'll try to get the other female looking at it. All right, as soon as I've done three times, throw in one carrot. watching. He's kind of watching. Oh! Yeah. The ceiling's coming. What We're going to try it one more guy? time. What about that guy? What's he up here? He's looking. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit three times again and then go ahead and throw another one in. There it is. This guy's in the water. Perked up. And then she ignores us again. Could could be it may be too hot and they may decide, ah, we don't want to do it. Alright, everybody see where the bull is? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna bang in the bucket three times and then we're gonna throw them at the bull. That's what I was always doing. I hit the bull in the roof. I have to try and hit the bull. I'm gonna see if he kind of turns and looks at us. Well, we'll try it anyway. Three times, and then you guys throw. Throw it at him! 
Oh, shoot, nice. By the I'm way, oh, now he's looking. Throw again, throw again. Throw, throw, again. throw, throw one. your other oh, one in. Go ahead. Got... He's looking. Oh, you're out. You only had three. Oh, that's too bad. I only <laughs> have one. I have two. Pass it to him. He's looking. There's a lobby. Before, oh. before he has oh, a food. Just too classy for us. There's 11 left. There's 11 left. There's 11 left. Someone. I have. I have Alright, Cheyenne got her last one. Here, can I have one? I need a carrot. Aiden, let him throw it. And then you, no, you'll just be out of luck. We, we still have a couple here. of carrots. There he comes. Alright, we're going to try it one more time. We finally have him. Throw the rest of your carrots in. Boy, that took some work. Throw your carrot into the air, right? Oh, we found one. That was mine. Who threw this? Hey, you still got one. We'll put it this way. He'll have a lot of carrots to eat if the females don't come. Uh, there is a um, bucket over there. You could put it in. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, son, I made my land right in front of him. I didn't mean yep. to do that. That's okay. We're bringing him over. Here, I'll try to get one just a little bit more in front of him, too. I ain't checking. They see them bounce, and then they don't see them anymore. Look at mine, you dirty mammal. Oh, easy. Don't don't be uh, talking bad to your animals here. Hey, hey everybody. Everybody, come here a minute. You guys want to go someplace? Where? The babies are right up here. And this is uh, this is mom and dad here. And if they get a chance, so they get food, they'll fly right over your heads and right out the door. Um, where's the underground tunnel? Underground tunnel. The babies are up there. Can you see how they make it kind of cement? Like they, is that from their mouth? Yeah, isn't that neat? Stand here, stand here, stand here. They're up mud. They're up in the highest point of the building, tucked under a log right there. Yeah, and there's a bird all the corners. Yep, there's bird in that corner too. Yeah, I saw. You know, you saw that, and you saw the prairie dogs. So who said the humans are the only guys who build cities, right? All right, should we go on back side of the uh, wolf and elk exhibit? Yeah. That's what we need to do. Let's all line up here in the shade. Everybody get in a single line right here in the shade. you have to raise your hand because it must be quiet back here. You're now going back into their area. That isn't your area, that's their home. When you go to somebody else's home, you have to be polite, quiet, and obey their rules, right? So the way we're going to do this is we're going to walk back there in single file. I'm going to show you back where the tunnel is. Logan? You watching me, Robert? You watching me, Peter? Me, not them. We're gonna go back in single file. You're gonna stay close to the far fence, as far away from the wolf fence as possible. All right. And then I'm gonna show you the tunnel. I'm gonna show you uh, the lockout area for the elk. When we come back, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna toss in the wolf treats for the wolves. Okay. So first thing, I don't want. Who didn't get a piece of food? Matthew, did you get a piece? All right, let's go. 
going to walk right up to the edge of the gate and stop. All right, no goofing, absolutely no goofing, because if you're going to goof, I'm sending you right back out here. Because remember, I let you do all sorts of goofing around all the other times, but back here, absolutely no goofing. You absolutely pay attention to me, because wolves are wild animals. They're not dogs, they're not pets, okay? And remember, we're going to walk in single file. Everybody stays over to the edge of the fence. If you have something to say, raise your hand, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're still not pets though. They're wild. Ellen. Um, is it like this door? Is this door? That is a door, yeah. I know, but is that the door that we're going through? We're going right through that. It's open for us, we're going right through. Are we going into the tunnel? Ah, oh, we're not going into the tunnel, but you'll see it. If you went into a tunnel, you guys are too tall, you'd probably bang your heads because I've been in the tunnel and I bang my heads all the time. Heads, what if we heads? go like this? Well, I don't think our keepers and would like us going in the easy. tunnel. All right, everybody quiet. Stay near the fence. Let's go. I'm here. I'm... Caleb's a little bit nervous about having us back here. This is his territory. Everybody remember, stay over by the fence. Stay over this way. on up here and here's the tunnel that they go through it's not underground but to them it's still a tunnel and we have a gate over on this side so we'd open up this gate first let the wolves in and then we have another gate over on the far side and that's the one that lets the wolves into the elk exhibit and you can kind of see there's some places where the boards are across to support the whole structure and if you walk through there, you can bang your head easily. I can't tell you how many bumps I still have from banging my head because I'd never let the wolves through there unless I walked through there myself to make sure that they hadn't dug a hole or broken over, open some uh, logs or things like that because it took us a whole month just to get them used to going into this tunnel. So what we did was we opened that gate, left that one closed, and we just, we try to coax them in with food. We let them come explore. They didn't like going in unless we stayed way far away because they thought we were going to lock them in, which we never did. But it was very scary for them to be in that enclosed area. They, they don't like that. But now that they've learned, when they see that gate open and that gate open, whoosh, they go through. And anybody want to guess who's the first one through? Celine. Celine. Always Celine. She is the bravest one of the three. She'll try anything. The boys, boy, they just, they kind of sit there. They'll sit right at the entrance there and they're looking, going, where are you, Celine? And they're waiting for her. And then when she comes back after she's explored, and they dance and they lick and they jump and they're all joyful. And then she runs back through again and then this area is, is fenced off. That's me. Well, what would you think? Why do we? Aiden, what do you think? Well, certainly it keeps us safe, but the other thing is, it's the trees. If they got in here, they would kill the trees because they eat them, they rub their antlers on them, and these trees would all be dead, so we want to keep trees here. But when we let the wolves back in here, this is the wolves' favorite spot because there's rabbits and chipmunks and bird nests. Was that a recent decision to let? Well, you know, I, I think, here's my guess. See these new boards here? I have this feeling that they, they knocked them down, they got in and started rubbing, and when they saw that that was rubbed, then they put the new boards up. Because otherwise, yeah, there's no intention to let them in here. They, since it was uh, first opened, they did that. 
Let's go back here. We'll get you in the shade again. You can kind of see the woods where they like to stay. And if you look at the trees, they look pretty beat up, don't they? And that's the elk. They rub their antlers on them. In the lockout. See, the keepers, every morning, they put grain in here. And, they, and the elk love grain. So the elk come in and eat their grain, and then they shut the gates, and then the keepers go into the big area, and they clean that. They will not go in these areas with the elk in there. They did that the first couple uh, weeks that the elk were here. Guess what the elk did? Chased them. Chased them right out. And that's and they're dangerous. So they finally said, nope, we're not doing it anymore. And then when they want to clean this area, well, they put them in there and close up the gates. So it's a pretty big area. And then I'll just show you, I don't know if this is going to be interesting, but yeah, Robert. Um, is that the biggest lockout in the home zoo? Uh, actually, it is. Well, you know how big the lockout is for the lynx? Not like, but this is this big? So they have a big one. So theirs is well, good. Well, there's like four of them. The lynx are small. They're not... Yeah, they're not too bad. Well, I'd like to go walk. Okay. Well, you can too see bad. what... You can come around now in a bunch now if you want. Not much to see. Um, this is just where they keep the... This is how the keepers get into the lockout. Can we go? Don't go in, no, Man. but I'm going to have you take a look. You don't want to walk your feet through that right now, I don't think. Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be kind of messy, but you can all take a look. This is their shelter because you know how cold it gets sometimes in the winter. Mm -hmm. And even though elk, they're real good about staying warm if it's a real cold, windy. To explore, because the elk get to explore in the wolf exhibit and no. Elk? Uh -uh. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. They go uh -huh. in there. Yeah. No. Do they go yeah. in there? Well, we, we, we were going to let the elk into the wolf exhibit, and we couldn't quite design it so it would be easy to do, so we ended up not doing it. But we, I'd still like to do that. So you're right. So it gives them a lot of new things to smell, a lot of play. We're going to advertise it next time we do it, and hopefully we'll do it in a couple weeks. And um, to watch those animals in there is their vacation, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, or the wolves in, and then we finally put the wolves back and we let the elk out. At first, we were really concerned that the elk could get really nervous. They could have cared less. They'd sniff, they'd check out where the wolves were, but then they were fine. All right, let's go ahead and walk back. And again, we'll kind of sit. Take them a while. Right over there. 